Mind your business. So when I can't dress, mind your business. Also, I'm finna go to cut this air on. I'm hot as shit. Yeah, she's a photographer. I'm a model, an actress. Kinda flexing a little bit. But if it get worse, I'm shutting the video down. my channel and anyway in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i take my bomb instagram pictures by myself yeah she's a photographer i'm a model an actress and all that stuff you know i'm a jack of all trades but i really just want to come in here and give y'all like a little quick intro because i'm gonna get all pretty all pretty up and i'm gonna tell you about the equipment that i use and like my setup and everything and like basically show you guys the whole process i'm not going to show you guys how to edit the pictures today because that'll be a whole different video because that's a whole different separate process jesus but i will give you the apps that i used at the end and that it i think that's it so yeah i'm going to show you how to get pictures like this and like this and like these okay all right also i'm going to go shave my legs but you didn't need to know that bye three days later so now i'm all should i grab my phone hold on give me a second Okay, so now that I'm all okay, I'm gonna tell you guys the equipment and stuff that I'm using. I wrote notes down. Hold on. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm gonna show you guys the kind of you make so much noise. I feel like I have something in my eye and it's gonna make me mad. I'm gonna ignore it. But if it get worse, I'm shutting the video down. But yeah, so what I'm doing? Right, equipment. First and foremost, I use my phone. Oh, I use my phone. Yeah. Number one thing, camera. So I use my phone, or I got a, I got a little special beauty over here. Hold on. This is the Canon T6. Um, uh, wait, Rebel T6. I don't know, something like that. So if you, if you were to actually go to my Instagram, pictures that I took like this one, or this one, or this one, I took on this camera. But there are also pictures on my Instagram like this one, this one, and this one that I took on my phone so it's kind of like a 60 40 kind of thing like 60 percent was on this camera and then 40 percent was on this phone but i'm gonna show you guys how to do both or how i use both today also for, for both is my handy dandy so with this tripod i got it off of amazon and it has a little phone holder thing you can take it off but you can also take it off or whatever and then you can just you can just screw your camera on it both work i mean it works for both and then when I got this, it came with a little shutter remote thingy. And this is what I use to take pictures with my phone. It's very, very convenient. Cause I don't know how, I know people be like using like the timer and stuff. That's too much. Girl, this shutter thingy, it's Bluetooth to connect right to your phone, that thing. Click, 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 they take pictures just like that. So I put on, I put on my dad's jacket and this tank top and like these necklaces. I got them uh, from Sheen. Then, so what we're gonna do is, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna show you guys my setup and everything. We're gonna go find somewhere in the house to take pictures and then I'm gonna show you guys my setup and then I'm gonna show you how I take pictures on both my phone and my camera. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Action, let's go. All right, so I don't know. Ugh. All right, y'all, so here's like the first place that we're gonna take pictures. Well, the only place we're gonna take pictures, actually, if I'm being completely honest, but we're in the living room. So I want to take pictures in front of this wall right here because it's like right in front of this window and I was like It just makes the most sense to me. So let me show you how it's set up Basically, I just have my tripod and then I put it on the front camera first just to see how it will hold on Okay, so first I put it on the um on the front camera just so I can see how it would look And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it around use the back camera because the back camera has better quality mm. so Pretty much y'all are gonna see me just like move around slightly just to see how I like just to see like different angles and stuff like that. the thing about pictures is don't you don't always have to do like completely different poses every take just move slightly because who knows this and this give two different effects so just move slight just move a little bit at a time and move your eyes too don't always look directly at the camera like yeah but i'm gonna set y'all up somewhere and then Y'all can just watch me take pictures on my phone. Oh, and also, I'll screen record on my phone. I didn't think about that too just now, but I'm gonna do that too.
shit in this fucking living room. But, um, yeah, so I just finished taking the pictures on my phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect my camera to this phone because for some reason it won't connect to my 12. But I'm gonna connect it to this one. I'm gonna start filming on that other phone. And I'm gonna go through this app called Canon Connect. And it's to connect, like, Canon cameras or whatever to your iPhone. And basically I'm gonna screen record what, like, what my iPhone looks like, like, while I'm trying to take my own pictures. And I'm just gonna show you guys. I'm gonna take pictures on my camera. I'm gonna switch my setup a little bit because I'm trying to stand it right there. It's too much. Also, I'm finna go to cut this air on. I'm hot as shit. You know what? I'm actually gonna go switch outfits because that makes more sense. Cause I already, yeah, I'm gonna, ooh, double the content in one day, girl, period. I'm gonna go switch. No, I ain't changed too much. I just changed my shirt because, mm, the reason why y'all be getting full body pictures like that all the time is because I don't know how to dress like that. Like, girl, this is all I got. This shirt is all I got. So, there won't be like from the belly button up, period, because mind your business. So, when I can't dress, mind your business. Go set up this camera. Mind your business, babe. Okay, y'all. So I'm filming on my 12, which is probably why the quality look a little better. I'm like, y'all look kind. I'm kind of flexing a little bit. Um. So I. I'm sorry. So I set up my camera, and I set it up on my eight because for some reason it won't connect to the phone. But like, it is what it is. So basically, with this, I can pretty much see what the camera sees. So that's how this works. So anyway, um, oh, let me screen record. Hold on. So, hold oh, stop. So pretty much I'm gonna screen record that so you guys can see what the camera sees. And then I'm gonna set you guys up somewhere right here. Cause I'm, lit I'm literally sitting on the floor. And it took me, mm -mm, it took me so long to set this up because this, I just, I've been so, I've been using my phone so often. I don't even use my camera no more. But I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. So let's get into it. <music> Done taking pictures for the day, and I pretty much just want to wrap this video and give y'all like a couple tips about taking pictures and stuff like that. Oh, for one, if you are taking pictures on the back camera of your phone, every couple pictures always go and check or whatever to make sure to see if you need to make any adjustments or anything like that, or see what you can do different with like your pose or your face or something like that. It's always helpful to go check like every like five, six, seven pictures. You see what I'm saying? So, like. Take a couple pictures, check. Take a couple pictures, check. And so you know you have the positioning right and stuff like that. Um, another thing is, like I was saying earlier, do not switch poses, like, and then go to, and then go to, just, just move, like, slightly. Just be like, and move your eyes around and stuff like that or whatever. That way when you go back and you look at your pictures, you'll have like a variety of like slightly different poses and whatever, because maybe this looks so, look, you don't like it, but like this, looks better you see what i'm saying to be honest you don't need a camera to be honest the picture that i took today on my camera i'm not completely in love with but the ones i took on my phone you don't need a bunch of equipment you don't need anyone else to help you take pictures you can just do it by yourself anyway um the editing apps that i use to take for to like edit my pictures i use lightroom and i use i think it's called me too i'm gonna like picture them on the screen but i use those to the edit if you guys want to see a if you guys want to see a, like a video in depth of me like editing and stuff like that you can always get up in the comments, you know, and tell me, you know. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, period. If you guys want a part two and maybe like a little bit more in-depth kind of look at everything, be sure to let me that know that in the comments as well. I'm stuttering today and it's not funny. Like, cut it out. Cut it out. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so that just about wraps up this video. And I'll see you guys the next time I decide to help y'all look good on Instagram, period. Hold on, hold on. Period. Uh.